Not too long ago, I asked you guys for Cuphead video ideas, and what I realized was some of you massively overrate my skill, and some of you just want to hurt me. But after giving it some thought, I decided to not listen to any of you. Because Jesus, Billard, who, who do you think I am? Who do you think I am? The law? What if I give you this? What if I gave you this? This? I can work with. I decided I was gonna 300% Cuphead without dying. Not even once. Oh, that is, that is great. That is just splendid. If I do die, I instantly delete the save. If you do enjoy this video, please let me know by subscribing and leaving a like. The channel just passed a thousand subscribers and personally, I would like, I would like more than that. <laughs> Jesus. To get 300% in Cuphead, it requires you to beat every boss on expert difficulty, and to unlock expert mode on every boss, you need to beat the game on regular mode. So that's where I started. In my first run, I beat a couple of bosses before going to the mausoleum to unlock Miss Chalice. Victory! What? Victory! Take me to move. Uh, what? Take me. <clears throat> Tell me to get the cookie. Now I am ready to play the game. Upon my return from Mile 4, I was ready to really dive headfirst into the first run and gun to get the challenge underway. This one guy won't stop. He, they're following me. I'm sick of posse. Uh, oh, oh, hell nah. Uh. <coughs> oh, shit. It's all right. A toast to new beginnings. For attempt number two, I decided to switch up my strategy and head straight to the second run and gun treetop trouble, where I clocked in another successful run. And another one. <laughs> <laughs> Made it 2% of the way through that one. Almost had it. My fourth attempt went about as expected. What is wrong with me? I need help. Psychiatric care. Finally, on my fifth attempt, I actually beat the level. Is that 5% out of 300? Also on the fifth attempt, I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's not fun anymore. I'm already having it. I, it's not fun. It's not funny or fun anymore. There's that one guy, right, that played every Souls game in a row without getting hit one time. And then he, like, hugs his wife. And like, if I did this, it wouldn't be nearly as impressive and I would not have a wife to hug afterwards. So that kind of just sours this whole thing a little bit. On attempt six, I got past the running guns finally and built a bit of steam, making it all the way through aisle one and into aisle two. And I used this momentum to get through Beppy, Jimmy, that says Bobo. I wrote, <laughs> I wrote, <bo> <laughs> I wrote Bobo down in the script. <laughs> Let me try that again. I use this momentum to get through Beppy, Jimmy, Bobo, Waldo, and Pim. Who the hell is- Boom! Boom! I am gross! And after flying through the running guns, I was on to aisle three without a scratch on my little cup's head. As you'd expect from a gamer of my caliber, I continued to take care of business. I was wiping my buttocks with these guys. With they one plies, with they, with they one ply selves. Just before I could enter hell though, I had to take on the running guns. <coughs> Shoot. <coughs> oh my God. A toast to new beginnings. Only one hour after that, I found myself in the same place, and just like that, I had my longest run yet. Yeah! Here we go! Back on track. And in this one, I was on a roll, making it past the devil and all the way through the DLC. Very nice! The Zooks! This place is coming down! Let's get out of here! Eek! Ah! <laughs> No, oh, my bakery! Which means I was left with just one thing in front of me. The whole game, again, on a harder difficulty, but progress is progress. Just before heading back to aisle one, I decided I was gonna take out the chess pieces. <laughs> no, no, this is not the time. It was indeed the time. I was having fun. I was having fun. This is fun to me. At seven hours and 51 minutes, I had finally surpassed my former self and I was able to make it back safely to aisle one. You see how that took me eight hours to do? See, that was the easy part. It's after that where the, the when you enter the fun zone. That being said, I confidently took down the first few bosses in aisle one before I was met with this blimp. Whoa! 
Well, that's so fun. I'm glad that that happened. I'm happy. Now I get to play Cuphead again, and I love yeah. Cuphead. This challenge was beginning to wear on me, but on attempt 16, everything changed. There is a bug in this game that allows you to immediately fight the bosses on Expert, and I had just stumbled into it on complete accident. By dying on an Expert boss and then selecting Quit Game, I had unintentionally taken a huge step in the right direction, in a challenge where that felt impossible. Even though the starting line just moved forward, it didn't equal instant success. But I did feel rejuvenated. I was given a new hope, like the Star War. Attempt 17 was my best one yet, and it ended in a less than desirable way, but it felt like with the more and more hours I wasted on playing Cuphead, I was getting better at Cuphead. In a measly 12 hours, I 200%ed Cuphead without dying, and at 12 and a half, I was right back where I started. <laughs> I jumped! I jumped! Check the input. Check the f input. Look at the footage. Look at the f look at the input. Look at my hand cam. I had a string of runs like that. Getting 200% and quickly dying on DLC Island. So I decided to switch the whole playbook. In this strategy, I start with the hardest part of the game first in order to get it out of the way, which is easier said than done. I just, I just the right way! <laughs> Once I finally did beat the DLC, everything after was a cakewalk. I had these bosses counting their lucky stars, or something along those lines. I was going crazy, until Wally Warbles pressed my ass and f my sh he fucked me sh my sh up and he spread my f An hour and some later, it was me who did that. And as I stepped foot in the aisle 3, I felt like this could be it. Until Monkey, Monkey Deep sent me back to the depths of hell. Before I could start Run 39, I needed to do some serious reflection. I asked myself, how did I get here? Nearly an entire day of Cuphead. It wasn't my decisions that led me here. This, this was Billard's fault. This was Billard's fault. I, this is, I did not choose this. This was not me. <coughs> <clears throat> And with that, I set off on my normal path once again, starting with Treetop Trouble and quickly moving on to Aisle 4 in order to get Miss Chalice before doing Forest Follies. After which, I would stop my way back to Aisle 4 for real this time, where I would start by crushing these bugs underneath my... Wait. Go golden Ballet Flats. Yeah. Now this is- now this is gameplay. The next part of this 26 course meal of sh was the steak, or the beef sausage, however you like your evil cows prepared. After that I made quick work of the pups, and took on the Iceman. <sighs> I went on and I made easy work of the mountain, and with that I destroyed the DLC. Salt Baker? More like- <laughs> why did I write- I wrote Salt Baker more like f Nice. Moving on. At this point, Aisle 1 posed zero threat to me. After 24-ish hours, I've become sort of an omnipotent being here. Aisle 2 is a different story. Even though some people think that I'm perfect and can do no wrong, I can sometimes make mistakes. And on Aisle 2, I'm especially prone. <gasps> oh! Oh my god! But besides that one boss, none of these jokesters even came close to killing me. And neither did the running guns. Not to forget the mausoleum. Am I more than you bargained for yet? I've been dying to tell you anything you wanna hear. Cause I shows who I am this week. Lie in the grass next to the mausoleum. That's gonna be sick in the video. That's... <laughs> Crowd's gonna go wild for that. Aisle 3 though wasn't overly eventful, which left me with just two bosses. The first of which being King Dice, where I started off by making a classic blunder. <laughs> I had to roll a two, roll a one, roll a one. Why, why, why would I not roll a two? Die!
With only the final boss left, I cracked my knuckles, scratched my back, clenched my butthole, and stepped into the dojo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the very final thing on the menu was beating bosses using the cursed relic, which is super scary because it makes every fight start with 1 HP. But save for one close call, I had finally done it. Yes! The music is all I need! Yes! Through all your battles, and all your rhymes, you have... When? when? When did that happen? I did it. I did it. I, I, don't, I, I did it. If you've made it I'm this far into the video, let me know by subscribing or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>